Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. My name is Richard Evans and today I want to show you how to remotely control a computer using NDI Scan Converter. Alright, now with a new update to Scan Converter, you can now enable KVM control so you can control any machine that is on your network from any other NDI enabled device that is on your network as well. So, if that sounds confusing, it's not. Super simple, let's dive in and take a look. All right, so for today's tutorial video, I'm not even going to use a TriCaster. I'm just going to show you how to send the video output of my desktop machine and then control that system remotely using NDI Scan Converter. So first things first, this is where you go to download NDI Scan Converter, which is NDI.tv, uh, which is a landing page for all things NDI. So you go to the top of the screen, click on NDI Tools here, and just scroll down the page and you'll just download the new NDI Tools 4.1. Now once you've run that application, you have now installed NDI Virtual Input, Scan Converter, Studio Monitor, etc. So on this computer here, I'm going to go to my Applications and go to my NDI 4 Tools and run NDI Scan Converter. Now that's going to run in the background, so to access the settings for those, we'll go to the bottom right over by the clock here in the bottom. Click on this little carrot, and there's my NDI Scan Converter application. Ta-da! So if I right-click on this, you'll see that these are the different ways that I can send a video source out from my computer to view it on any NDI-enabled uh, device. So I can adjust my frame rate from here, uh, also the capture settings so I can uh, isolate it to be a region of interest, also show my mouse pointer, uh, also determine what audio source I want to send out via NDI. I can even send out the webcam, uh, for an NDI video source and the audio from that webcam as well. But here's the kicker here. Right here, enable KVM controls, a brand new feature. So now I'll go ahead and click on that. And let me go ahead and open that up again just so you see that I have a checkbox next to this now. All right. So uh, desktop number one here, we've got my you know, person swimming in the ocean, and NDI uh, KVM control is now enabled. So now let's move over to a completely different system. Okay, now we are viewing the laptop screen off of a computer that is somewhere else in my facility but connected to the exact same network as the machine that I just walked away from. All right, now that machine was broadcasting an NDI video source via scan converter, so now I need to run NDI Studio Monitor, which lets me view NDI video sources. And again, you can download that for free at ndi.tv. Click on NDI Studio Monitor here. And if I click on the top left corner of the, this particular application, these are all of the different video sources that are broadcasting over NDI. All right, now I want to select the machine that I just walked away from, which is this one here. I have two monitors attached to that, so I can view one or the other. Now I'm going to select the output of monitor number one by clicking on it. And check it out. Now I have a, a view of the NDI source that is broadcasting off of that machine. Now, right now, I can only view that source. I can't do anything. I'm just clicking around the screen right now, and nothing's happening uh, because I uh, don't have NDI KVM control enabled on my Studio Monitor application. So, if I go to the top left corner of the screen here and click NDI KVM, you'll see that that's now highlighted in blue, and now I can control that machine. Ta-da! So, anything that I can do on that machine on the other side of my network, I can now remotely control it via NDI Studio Monitor. So I can go ahead and open up a web browser, even type in here, etc. I can go to newtech.com and sign up for an interactive online demo by clicking on my face. Boom! So that's pretty awesome, right? I mean, you can now control any system on your network remotely using this NDI Scan Converter application, which is free 99, absolutely free, off of NDI.tv. Now, if you like this demonstration but want a little bit more, make sure to sign up for one of our personalized TriCaster demonstrations at newtech.com demo. Also, be sure to follow us and tag us on your Instagram posts. And for more videos like this, go to our YouTube page, which is youtube.com slash newtechinc. And until then, thank you all for watching, and be sure to tune in next time for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.